Hello, for this video we're going to be creating two parts drawings. Uh, so we've already got the parts for this, we just need to create the drawings themselves. Uh, and the two parts that are, part drawings that are required uh, for the assignment are, number one, uh, we're going to create this arm part, and so we're going to have a top, or a front view, a top view, an isometric view, uh, all the dimensions that we need, uh, as well as we're going to do this formatting down here. And then the second part, uh, it's actually kind of a simple part, it's the blade. And so we're getting, we've got a front view, a top view, uh, and the reason I added this one is we have a detail view as well to kind of show the dimensions of the blade down here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to jump over to SolidWorks here. So the easiest way to create a part drawing is to go ahead and open the part first. So I'm going to go ahead, open the arm, and we're going to uh, go ahead and open that up. Uh, we should get the part there, and if we go up here to File, and we're going to go Make Drawing from Part, that's the easiest way to start a part. So we're going to do A, ANSI Landscape. ANSI is the uh, American system, um, and so go ahead, hit OK. All right, and we'll get this here. So it's going to ask us to inter insert a view first. So I'm going to insert a front view down here, um, and after I insert that, I actually can uh, insert child views off of the what's known as the parent view down here. And so the child view is going to be locked in place and if you move it around, so just kind of click and drag, uh, it'll actually move them around together. If you change the scale, it'll change the scale together and these two pieces are linked. Uh, so I've got the front view and the top view linked. Uh, I'm going to add one more view. I'm going to add the isometric view. Oops. Now I need to insert. So go back to view layout, do model view, do that, and let's we're going to insert a separate view. I was going to overwrite the existing one I had there. Uh, all right, so I've got the move that over. All right, so I've got the isometric view over here. I've got a front view and a top view, um, and we're going to go ahead and add some dimensions to this. All right, so next up, if I select my front view here, I can, if I wanted to, uh, I could change the use a custom scale and change the scaling. And so one to one is what I want to keep in the end, but if I did one to two, it makes it smaller. If I did two to one, it makes it much larger. We can mess with the scale on all of these drawings. Uh, the linked ones are always going to be the same, but the, this one over here I could make smaller or bigger. All right. So let's go back and rather than view layout, we're going to go to annotation to add some dimensions. So I'm going to select the front view, and I could use Smart Dimension, and it works a lot like what I have in the parts. Uh, you're simply going to add the dimensions one by one, um, but often most convenient, we're going to start with this Model Items. So I'm going to take Model Items, uh, while I've got the front view selected, hit that, select it one more time. There we go. you got to click on one of the lines in there. All right, and so it adds a bunch of dimensions. These are the same dimensions that we used to build the part in the first place. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And one of the things I noticed, these are not actually the same dimensions. Uh, they are, but these are the measurements in inches, and we worked in millimeters. And that's because our scale uh, is different down here. So I've got inch pound second. If I change that to millimeters, uh, there we go. Everything is back like I want it to be. All right, so you can go ahead and kind of move some of these, like this two is not in a great spot. You can kind of move that around. The four is also not in a super great spot. We can move that around. Uh, and just kind of drag these around so they look nice. You can line those up. That one over there, like so. I'll move this 4.5 over as well. So 4.5, 30, 15, and so on. All right. So I also have this depth of 10 uh, that was added to the top. And so that's fine. I'll keep that one there. Um, there's a, a few more dimensions I do want to add. I'm going to add those manually now. Uh, so I think I've got everything on the front view. Let's go back to the PDF and make sure. Uh, basically, you want to check and make sure all these dimensions match. All right, so I do notice one that did not get carried over, and it's this radius of 10 on the fillet. Um, and that's actually all the radiuses, but I'm only going to add uh, one of these radius elements, and so I'm going to hit Smart Dimension, 
And if I click on a curve, it should let me add a dimension. And so the model items, if it was part of building the model, you'll notice it's black. It's actually gray if it was added in the drawing. Um, and there are ways to change that. We're not going to worry about that, though. Uh, we're just going to worry about uh, getting those dimensions in there. So my smart dimension, there's also some dimensions related to this end up here. So smart dimension, if I click on the outside, I can put a radius there. Oops. Come on. There we go. Put a radius of five there. For this insert inner circle, it's a diameter of five. So radius is R, and then this symbol is for diameter. Uh, and the chamfer as well, I do want some markings on that. So it's a two millimeter depth and a 45 degree angle. Um, oh, I should add some dimensions up here as well. So let's go back and do the smart dimension, kind of grab this to the center point. Nope. There we go. That's five. If I do like this dimension to the center point, that is five as well. All right, that's the center of my circle. I can see that that's lined up. All right, so let's add, if I click on this line here, it'll give me a dimension there, but I actually want the angle. So I click on another line. There we go, there's my 45 degree angle. Um, and if I click on kind of here to here, I can put that in. You gotta get it lined up just right. So if I do that, I can drag it over to the right place. All right, and so that is all the dimensions that I need. So they, those are all matching up with what I have in my drawing over here. The next part, I wanna add uh, this down here. Let's go back to my drawing. And what I'm gonna do, if I right click, I'm gonna edit sheet format. And so the sheet format is all this stuff down here. And don't panic, all your stuff disappears, it'll come back. Uh, and I just wanna add some stuff. And so what I added in my example is I added my name, the title of the part, um, and then you know drawing is gonna be arm in this case. Uh, so don't worry too much about a lot of the stuff, just name, as long as you have your name, the title for the part, and a uh, drawing down here, I think the arm is already taken care of. Yes, what I named my drawing uh, of the part. All right, so if I click on this, it should let me type in, oops, double click, there we go. Get a menu box like that, pizza cutter arm. All right, that looks good to me. We can kind of move that down, center it a little bit better. All right, up here, I'm gonna double click to open that menu box and type in my name. Check it more for me. Obviously, you're gonna have your own name there. So I'm gonna know it's your part. All right. And then once I am done editing that, I'm gonna right click uh, up in this top part and go back to edit sheet. And that'll make my drawing show back up again and I can stop panicking. All right, so I'm done with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. And I can save it as the same thing. I'm gonna uh, save it as arm. And it's gonna be a drawing this time. And save. All right, and we're all done with that one. All right, so the next one, we are in this video, we are also going to look at the uh, blade part. So I'm gonna go ahead, close all that stuff out. I'm gonna go ahead and open the blade. Hit okay. All right, so there's our blade. We're gonna go file, make drawing from part, just like we did before. Uh, same default, hit okay, and we'll have this. All right, so um, the front view is actually not what I would consider the front view, so the top view is what I would consider our front view. So I'm gonna add, drag that one in there, uh, add a top view, which is kind of looking down on the blade, that's fine. Uh, isometric, I'll add in separately. So I'm gonna go back over to view layout, model view, or actually for this one I didn't want an isometric. This one I wanted 
a detail view rather than isometric. We kind of know, figured out what the blade looks like. Also, the, I will notice here that the blade looks a lot bigger than it does in mine. That's because the scale is different. So let's go back and let's modify the scale. Oops. So I select this one again, and I'm going to go down and use custom scale. All right, so this is not one to one. This is one to two. So it's half the size it should be. I want to make it one to one. I still have plenty of room for that. All right, so there's my blade. I can grab this kind of child view and drag it back a little bit. Um, and I'm going to select this one. And actually, where does it look like most of my? Well, there's not many pieces at all. And so I've got the thickness of the blade up at the top. I've got the overall diameter. I've got there's only really three dimensions here. Um, and so I'm just going to add those manually. All right, so annotation, smart dimension. All right, the overall diameter of this guy is 3.15 inches, which is not what we want. We want millimeters, 80 millimeters. That's what we want. All right, we also have this center hole. That's because we went back out of smart dimension. So I click on that. This has got a diameter of five millimeters. And up on the top, if I go kind of zoom in, click on this and this, that is a one millimeter thickness for that blade. All right. So that's all the dimensions that we really have um, for that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to view layout. We're going to do a detailed view. All right. So detail view, uh, if you click on that, what you first need to do is kind of select the area that you want to blow up. And so I want to blow up the end of this blade. So I'm actually going to click on the end of the blade and draw it out like a circle. All right. And so that's the what I'm taking the detail view of. And I'm going to put the detail view over here. That's not much bigger than it was before. So it's two to one. I increase it by a factor of two. Um, let's increase it by a factor of five. So detail view A, five to one. Oops, that's the part. All right, so uh, use custom scale. And actually, four to one, six to one, five to one, like I want, is not uh, in there. So I'm going to do user defined and go five to one. All right, there we go. We got nice and big. All right, so for this, I'm going to create some dimensions on that. So annotation, smart dimension, and I'm going to do from here to here. That is five millimeters. And then from, I forget if I did this on the top or bottom for the PDF, I did the bottom down here. So I need 0.5 for the kind of center of the blade. All right, so that's from here to here. And I want to make sure I'm getting it vertical. Nope. It's vertical. I'm just going to drag it out like so. All right, so there's all the dimensions I need for that. Last piece in all of this, so I'm going to escape out of the um, of that. I'm going to do edit sheet format. Go ahead, add my name. Go ahead, add a uh, title for this. So pizza cutter blade. I don't need to worry about anything else. So go back and edit the sheet to get my part to show back up. All right, and that's all we have for the second drawing. So go ahead, save your drawing. You can save it as blade. It'll be a .dwg file. Um, and with that, we're all done. So I will see you for the assembly video, our last video.